the RG crew. Who the hell gave you permission to use the first two letters of my YouTube name and start a crew without my knowing? And look, that is clearly somebody running. And that somebody is obviously me. Ooh, present. You better give me the present of a scare. Right. Nomad. Playable demo teaser. Press any key. Where is the any key? Okay, fine, no more stupid puns. But seriously, let's get into the intro, which is Hey guys, how's it going? My name is RGJ Runner, your host as per usual, and we will be playing aforementioned game title on the screen. Right there, you see it? Oh, it's actually Demon. The more you know. Game is in early development. How early? I mean, how early is early? Okay, right. What what do we got going on here? Uh, some dust particles and what well, looks to be a locker in the distance. Anything else? Uh, no. And it would seem we are in a hyperbolic time chamber like place. Like the one in Dragon Ball Z, and if you haven't watched that series, what the fuck have you been doing with your life for the past 20 years? When exactly did Dragon Ball Z come out? Yeah, I don't know, I don't really care to be honest. Seriously though, it's a good series, and if you haven't watched it, you should. Continuing on, ooh, we got a pretty something in the distance. Oh, it's a pretty lady, and she has an apple. Ain't that nice? Oh, Grody. Is your arm double jointed or something? That was just weird. And you don't have any pupils. Oh, you do, but they are also white. As well as your iris. Yeah, I can dig it. And she's giving me an apple too. I mean, who can turn down free food? An apple a day keeps the scares away. Hey, you, what are you doing? Okay, that wasn't very nice. Okay, no, 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 no. You have to face your crime. You have to go to jail. You can't do that. And no, no, my game is freezing. Oh, no. No, 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 no. It's going to crash. Okay, fine, maybe not. I think that was supposed to happen. And now we are diving into the abyss. The abyss of what? I do not know. But I'm sure to find out. Oh. This is totally the opposite of where I was before. It was all bright and shiny. And the contrast is it's dark and spooky here. Although we do have a light ahead of us. Okay, we got a TV with the eyeball effect. And some modern art. Ooh, so fancy. Okay, I'm bored now. Continuing on. Wait, hold on, there's a second door here. I wonder, does this game have multiple choices? Hmm. Maybe the brick wall is an illusion. No, it's pretty much real. Alrighty then. I don't really have much of a donkey's clue about the background or the story of this game. I just came across it on Game Jolt and I thought it might be interesting. It was even greenlit on Steam, but uh, <laughs> Steam Greenlight doesn't exist anymore. It's now Steam Direct. And I don't think they just let anyone upload games or put your games forward to be green lit. Oh, hi. You know what, I didn't pay much attention to that weird creature. Wasn't that scary to be honest. I think this is supposed to be a 
much more of a psychedelic thriller. Ooh, nice ass. Somebody's been working them glutes. Here, let me have a feel. Okay, maybe not. So I'm guessing this is the way to go. Oh god. Ah, <sighs> no good can come of this. I mean, look. This is clearly some demonic ritual. Possibly. Okay, fine. Let's see what you have for me, game. I'm ready to get the hair scared off me. I want you to scare me bald. Because hair is too mainstream. And whoa, what are you doing? Oh shit, they're firing their lasers! But it wasn't very effective. Really? That's all I got from a game? And oh shit, just. What? Whoa, what? Oh, what? Who? Oh, I see, the door came flying off its hinges. Hmm, that shouldn't be. That's not right. That's not how doors open. You silly door. Doors can't fly off their hinges. And I see more TVs with the eyeball on them. Very nice. Shit, I can't see a damn thing now. Oh, never mind. Okay, and behind this door is another scary person. Another scary naked person who seems to be walking way faster than I am. Oh, and he poofed. Okay. You do you, good sir. You do you. And... I think we have another one of these fine fellows looking for a fight. Okay, fine. I've seen your gun before. I'm ready to fight you. Oh, okay, fine. No, never mind. I guess he too is also a coward. And behind yonder door is another wall. Oh, God, okay, fine. That kind of caught me back. And where are we now? Oh, we're in a closet. Of some description. And now we're leaving the closet. Or coming out of the closet. <laughs> yeah, stupid pun, I know. Very grim. Does this remind anyone of anything? I'll leave a subtle hint. Whoa! Ho ho ho! Now that is just dangerous. That light fixture could have fell on my head. Somebody should ought to do something about that. We'll be looking at a lawsuit. Ugh. Ugh. Modern art disgusts me. Oh, I see what's going on. I know what you're doing, game. I'll be wandering these halls until something creepy happens. Am I right? I'm always right. So what else have you got in store for me? Well, I'll be damned. That's Michael Myers. Not the actor. Uh, you know, the villain from... Uh, God damn it, I keep forgetting the names of these films. Uh, Halloween, yes, the Halloween series. Looks exactly like him. 
Ooh, a skull. How original. And what was that sound? Is there something creepy behind me now? Oh, fuck. The door's gone, I think. Yeah, it's gone. And here comes the scare. Boo. No? Okay. Well, I'll be damned. I'm die a hot piece of ass. And unlike the other indie horror game I played recently, I have a reflection, so I'm not a ghost nor a vampire. Ain't that great? Oh, hold on, and I also have a body. That's something you don't see in your everyday indie horror. Good job, game developers. Good job. Give yourselves a pat on the back. You know what? Take the day off work. So, what do I do now? Oh, there's a door. Great. Okay, nothing spooky or scary is going to happen. No? Is this it? Really? Yeah, okay, it's gotten a bit darker now, and there's a bit of a reddish tint going on. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ugh. That is the very opposite of Fancy. Fancy. Mm, uh, wait. Oh, oh, Jesus. Hey! Don't you do anything to me. Fuck off, I know karate. See, all those demons. They got nut on me. I know karate. And as we all know, demons are afraid of karate masters. Although, truth be told, I only got up to my second blue belt. So, what else is in store for me? Wait! That's it? Well, that was awfully short. Thanks for playing, and thanks for plagiarizing my name. I'll see you in court. RG crew, you cheeky little munchkins. Take my name and starting a crew without me. For shame. But I suppose I did get a free game, or a free demo. So all is forgiven. But, the final word, the final thoughts, I really don't know. It was a project made by Dreese. Uh, university students but I don't think it should have been greenlit by Steam because it is what it is a project I'm not sure if there's any proper story behind it from what I could tell we were on some sort of uh, life changing journey or a voyage of self discovery something like that I'm not sure I couldn't piece it together but uh, overall it wasn't bad, but at the same time it wasn't great. But uh, you know what, A for effort, I, the game wasn't glitchy or buggy like most indie horror thrillers that you'd find on Game Jolt. So I give it a pass. And I will leave it at that, so guys you know what to do if you did like this video be sure to comment, rate, share and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. So until next time, see ya.